When using CSS variables, you can nest variables. This is a way that you can consolidate your code and help to keep things more organized and manageable. CSS variables can be nested by defining variables inside other variables, allowing for more complex styling patterns and easier maintenance of styles. Some of the benefits of nesting variables are that you can create a hierarchy of variables that can be easily modified to affect multiple styles at once. You'll be able to reduce the amount of repetition in your code, and it makes it easier to update styles across your entire website. In addition, you can create more complex calculations and use more dynamic values for your CSS properties, resulting in more responsive and adaptive designs. When we nest variables, we're going to define a variable inside another variable. This allows you to create more complex and flexible styling patterns. This feature is available in modern browsers and is a useful technique for creating more module and maintainable CSS styles. Let's take a look at how we can do this in a project. Here's a page that's reminiscent of the project that we've been working on previously. The only new addition to my HTML is that I've gone ahead and added a link for Google Fonts. Everything else remains the same on the page. In regards to the CSS, I have created some more variables. I've also included comments so that I can section my variables off in order to keep things organized. In regards to global variables, I have several typography-related variables. You can see I'm defining a primary font, headline fonts, primary text weight, and base font size. I have a series of variable colors that I've created to use within my project, and I have one variable for sizing. I'm using the various variables to format the various elements on my page. I'm taking advantage of my variables in the body section. In my H1, I'm using my headline font, and I'm assigning a primary color. For my H2s, I'm using a secondary color, defining the font and some margin settings. The container is this article right here, and you can see I've assigned a box shadow. I'm using a variable of neutral color to assign the color. I'm using my border radius, and then I have some standard CSS styles. On my container H2, which is this element right here, I have padding and I have border radius, which we currently can't see since I do not have a background color, but we're going to augment that shortly. On my button, I have some various CSS properties, and for many of them, I am using my global CSS variables. What we're going to do to start off with is we're going to create some new variables. These are going to be underneath our color section, and these variables are going to be nested variables. So I'm going to create a new variable called header bg color. We'll go ahead and we'll assign a variable function, and inside we're going to assign the value to be our tertiary color. So I'm using a nested variable in this manner. We'll be doing something similar by creating another variable called header text color. Once again, we're going to go ahead and use the nested variable technique, and we'll go ahead and make the variable have a value of primary color. When we nest variables, it's going to go ahead and reference the other variables that we've already created. Let's go ahead and implement this in our CSS. I'll come down to my container H2, and what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to begin by creating a background color. We're going to set this to a value of variable, and we'll be using our header BG color. Then I'm going to go ahead and set the text color. And once again, we're going to be using one of our new nested variables. So I'll use the keyword of var, and then I'll go ahead and point to my header text color. Now we'll go ahead and save, and if we refresh in the browser, you'll notice that I've restructured how the container H2 looks. I am still taking advantage of using variables, but these two variables that I'm using, header BG color and header text color, are taking advantage of the nested colors. 
One of the main reasons that you might want to nest variables is that you'll have more control if you make any updates. So if I go ahead and I change my primary or tertiary color to something new, these will automatically update. I don't have to go into these variables and make those changes. They're already going to take advantage of the edits that we've made.